First caller is Jenna from California. Hey, Jenna, how can we help you? Hey. Um, okay, so I am been into fitness for a while, but I feel like my energy levels just suck. And my question was, I feel like I'm overtraining, but I feel like I'm really not training at all. I'm just like, I'm busy. I'm a mom to a two-year-old. I work from home and I also ride my horse pretty frequently. So I would like to find a way to include strength training for health benefits, um, but keep my energy levels up too. Okay. Um, how, what does your exercise look like now? Now I know riding horses, a lot of people don't know this, but, uh, that's a very active, um, activity. It's actually quite exhausting. You know this from all the horses you rode? I actually did it. You <laughs> yeah. know what? No. <laughs> so I used to train, uh, somebody who did, uh, <laughs> you just ride stallions. This, this guy's so all. full of shit oh, sometimes. Yeah. No, it's get the hell. Stallion. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Jenna, <laughs> am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> No, you're right. Oh, there you um, go. I'm not disagreeing. There you go. I'm just saying, I, big, big I horse forgot you're the one that owned horses. I can make horse noises. That's all I'm good for. No, I used to actually. I used to train somebody who. Uh, what is it called when they when they stand on the horse and they do like acrobatics and stuff? Is that vaulting? Oh, that's that's vaulting. That is um, that's pretty pretty wild. Yeah. So I used to train someone that did that. And then we would have these conversations and then I rode a horse once and I couldn't believe how exhausted I was. Afterwards. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's a lot of activity. Are you doing any exercise on top of that? Are you doing any resistance training on top of that? Or are you just trying to add resistance training? Yeah. So right now I do, I ride three to four times a week, two days a week. I'll do like a 15, 20 minute full body workout at home with dumbbells um, or bands. And then one day a week I work on like just a long walk or some kind of yoga. Um, but I'm finding after those strength training workouts, I'm just exhausted. You probably hear my two year old in the background. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. How's your, how's your sleep? Oh, the sleep. I was super strict with this from like day one because I know mama needed sleep. So she goes. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so Maps had a bullock once, yeah. you know, once twice a week, right yeah, there. Yeah, I, you know, whatever you're doing is is just too much. So yeah. and, and the problem, sometimes a challenge we get into, is that we feel tired and we, you know, we get an idea or a clue that maybe we're doing too much. But then what we do is we look at our workout and then we judge it. So we look yeah. at it and go, "This can't be too much. I'm not doing that much." Or I used to be able to do this, and it didn't bother me, and I felt okay. And so we kind of throw away everything that we're currently feeling. So you have to listen to your body. So no matter what, whatever you're doing is too much. So what I would do is I would reduce the resistance training from twice a week down to once a week. Just do one full body workout a week. Go okay. easy and and allow your body to kind of recover. Then the other aspect is diet. Uh, you might be eating too little or maybe not enough of the one of the macronutrients, proteins, fats, sometimes carbs. Sometimes people need to increase their carbs. Do you mm -hmm. know what your your food intake looks like, calorie wise and macro wise? I haven't. I haven't tracked because I had some disordered eating tendencies, so I haven't tracked in a long time. I probably could now with it being less of a big deal. Um, but I do try to eat whole foods and focus on protein. Could probably have more protein. Yo, you think you could in increase your protein? What about your fat and your carbs? I feel like fat, that was a big thing for me. Thought fat made me fat, but I've gotten over that. So I feel good with fat and carbs. Um, but maybe just adjusting how, where I'm eating. Yeah, I would, I would try bumping your food intake a little bit um, and reducing the resistance training. And then uh, be patient, allow your body to slowly acclimate and base it off of how you feel. Don't look at what you're doing and say, oh, this is, you know, like I said, I, I've done this before. I'm like, oh, I can't possibly be, too, be doing too much. This doesn't yeah. look like much, but you have to listen to your body. And it's, it's as you, you get older, as things change, so is your tolerance for activity and exercise. Besides the horse riding, are you doing uh, are you doing anything as far as cardio? I saw I, I saw in your question that you, Jillian Michaels and Zumba. Are you doing yeah. any, Are you doing that anymore? No. Or is that just the past? That was a past life of me. Okay, okay. <laughs> is that like a I, confession or what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome, kind of where guys. I started. <laughs> I had to be honest. Um, no, I Fair. just get in. I start work at six a.m. So I try to get a walk before, so that I'm not sitting in my house till two p.m. So okay, I try to get outside and get I a mean, walk. I mean, I like the advice, Sal. You know, I would love to to see you train. <laughs> 
well, one to two days a week, maps and I'd start one, and then because we could always scale up if you're <coughs> feeling great from just doing one, uh, maps anabolic. Uh, I'd also love to put you on a little bit of a calorie surplus right now. I know you want to lean out right now, and you want to go potentially the other direction. Um, mm -hmm. but there is a good chance that just for the, all the activity and the stuff that you have going on, that you might just be a little low calorie. So, and you're, you're, okay. you're not, you're not giving the body quite what it wants and needs for what you're doing. So reducing down to a one day a week, full body routine, bumping up our calories a little bit, just kind of seeing where we're at. And then I would, I would just kind of go from there. And so long as you're feeling good. Uh, I'd maintain that potentially adding another day of, of full body routine if if we like the direction that your your body's going. But that would be my my suggestion. You know what, Jenna? Something just popped into my head. Uh, mm -hmm. So when you're out there riding three four days a week, uh, you're obviously outside. It's been very hot. You're in California. Mm -hmm. You're sweating a lot. Is this right? Probably sweating yeah. a lot while you're doing. Right? <laughs> and you're eating. You said a whole food based diet. Yeah. Um, I wonder, huh? Yeah, I wonder if you're mm -hmm. okay. if you need to bump your sodium um, okay. intake. Here's the cool thing about sodium: if that's the issue, you'll notice right away. So it's not, it's not like you have to do it for a month to see a difference. If you yeah. if you start to bump your sodium, you could try Element T. That's the the obviously the company we work with. It's just it tastes really good and it's got an appropriate level of sodium. Or you could try throwing some salt, some like you know Himalayan salt in your water. Uh, okay. while you're writing, try bumping your sodium and see if that makes a difference. I've actually had uh, some in, some experiences with clients where that was the issue. Like we did everything else. And then finally we're like, let's see what happens if you you know have a little bit more sodium and then like magic, they feel a lot better. And like I said, you'll notice the, the first day, the first day or two, if, if that is the, you know, is, is the issue. Are you getting any like headaches or muscle cramps or anything like that? Um, no headaches and no muscle cramps really. So I feel like, you know, that's another indicator. I'm not doing too much. That's awful. So just a few tweaks maybe. Okay. Yeah. I give that a shot and see if that does anything for you. It would be awesome if that was the problem, right? Cause you could just yeah. supplement with sodium and then boom, feel a lot better. Yeah. Cool. Do you have access to maps anabolic by the way? I do not. All right, cool. All right. We'll give that to you. So we'll send that over to awesome. you and you just Thank do you. one of the foundational workouts a week to start with. Try all the stuff that we said, and then uh, I'd love to hear back from you. I will. I definitely will. All right. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you so much, guys. No problem. I, yeah, I like I, I like the uh, food direction with her because it sounds like she's decent as far as activity, training, yeah. sleep. Uh, she's even trying to get rest. Yeah, yeah. So she's pretty on top of it. Yeah. It, you know, it's, you know, it's, this is so hard, right? I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but where you're doing a workout program or diet and either you have nagging inflammation or you're just, your body's not responding. And it's like, rather than listen to your body, you think to yourself, it can't possibly, I can't possibly be doing too much. This doesn't look like a lot. And so you end up questioning how your body feels, which is a trap. You know what I mean? You have to listen mm -hmm. To your body, uh, because that's the best coach you could possibly, you know, ever have. Well, the supplement market thrives on that uh, because it's like trying to find that that one perfect key to to unlock what's really happening. When in fact, it could just be that you're just doing too much. Totally. 